Hello, welcome to the Domestic Ginger. Um, today I'm going to be making stuffed celery. I'm not sure if it's like a New England area type of thing, but um, I noticed that Southerners aren't really into it. Um, I live in the South now, and I absolutely love it. Um, I actually have the best food down here too. Um, but I'm from up north, like northeast. And I make these like every holiday and people just wolf them up. Um, so the first thing you got to do is put your cream cheese in a bowl. Actually, I forgot to tell you what everything you needed. You needed cream cheese, green olives, and celery. So when you have your cream cheese in your bowl, um, have it sitting out for a little bit so that it can soften up. And then also you will need a chopper and put all your green olives in it and you need to wash up your celery really good and then start chopping it. Um, if you want to do it like fancy you can do it at an angle like this that's what I do. I do it about um, inch and a half or so, maybe inch and three quarters. You want little like bite-sized pieces. Ooh, almost lost that one. Okay, and we're done chopping. So these are all the green olives. I put like a whole bunch. I just filled it up. Okay, once they're all finely chopped, well, they could probably stay in there for a few more seconds. Okay, so I just put them in for a couple more seconds, and now they're looking like really tiny and stuff, so that'll be good. Alright, once all you have all the um, olives in there, just squish it around kind of like you would mashed potatoes. I wouldn't recommend using a mixer because then you're going to lose a lot of the um, cream cheese and it doesn't really work well. But squishing it really good. It's kind of like if you're doing mashed potatoes by hand, you just squish it. Okay, so now that this is all mixed up, um, you get your spoon or fork. You can take one of these little itty bitty things and just throw it on in. Place it in the container that you're going to use. It's a little itty bitty one. My boyfriend was already out here. He made, a, he made I think, one for himself and ate it. Because he likes them, even though he's from down here.
He actually just got home from work and took a shower. And I'm starting to prepare stuff for tomorrow because it's Thanksgiving. We're not really doing anything special today. Um, even though today is actually our four year anniversary. I wanted to go out to a restaurant, but traffic out there is crazy. And also, it's the day before Thanksgiving, so everyone is going crazy out there. Trying to get some, I don't know, whatever ingredients they must have missed. I'm probably going out to eat because they're going to be cooking all day tomorrow. Okay, so just go ahead and keep filling it all up. All right, everyone. So the stuffed celery is finished and it's ready to eat. There's only going to be like three or four of us tomorrow anyway, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be eating probably around 60 or 70% of these just myself. Anyway. Um, I hope you make these and I hope you enjoy them. Have a good one. And I forgot to mention, usually there's a little stuffing left over. And I eat it. Okay. Well, everybody, I hope you all have a lovely Thanksgiving. Toodles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> little Ginger says toodles. Hold on. She's got Burger King over there. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, say bye to everybody. Bye bye. I'll show you my dragon first. Oh, she wants to show you her dragon. Yeah. <laughs> no. It died. Mm.